Step into the light. Good morning. How are you? It's 4.53 a.m. That's seven minutes before the big hour of five o'clock in the morning. It is 46 degrees Fahrenheit. It is Tuesday, April the 4th, 2023, up here in the future, in the 21st century. <laughs> and how are you today? We start the day off with gratitude, blessings, and purpose. Why? Because I'm selfish and I need help. <laughs> but we need to help ourselves. And there's only so much external help that we can ask for and get. The rest of the job is on us. It starts within internally, making intrinsic switches and uh, adjusting to adapt. <laughs> I got this idea of making a gratitude list only a few years ago, but it's been the most helpful tool in my coping mechanisms and strategy, strategies and tactics, or however you want to put it, but it works for me. And uh, so I make a gratitude list. I started off with the foundation six. You got to build a foundation before you build the dwelling that supports that existence. So my foundation six are, are as follows. I am grateful for my family, my friends, my faith, my freedom, my health, and my union job. I'm a blue collar tradesman. I'm blessed to have a union job. I really am. Um, and then from there I elaborate. See, I suffer from the chronic mopies, the chronic lonelies, and the chronic angries, and I have all my life. And the struggle has gotten a little easier to bear. You know, once I adopted gratitude, it's one of the principles of my life. And now I feel like, as though I have better purpose, I still struggle, trust me. I mean, gosh, I got moments, I got bad moments. And um, this gratitude list has the power to give me the clarity and a break that, you know, a, a, an internal break where I can make a new decision, where I can stop the inertia of those bad moments and start to make new decisions that, and I can get, get on with my day. I'm now of the, of the opinion that you need to run your moods or your moods. Your moods will run you. You need to run your emotions. Or your emotions will run you. I mean, I'm not, you know, talking about being emotionless or moodless. But, I mean, geez, come on. Give it a break. Grow up. It's fine. It's fine to grow up. I mean... And it's fine to stop letting your, your mood and emotions, your fickleness, run, run or ruin your day. Gosh, it, it's, it's a... <sighs> yeah, so I'm very grateful and blessed for this gratitude list. And yeah, I just do it every day that I can, mostly weekdays. And it's to build a, a muscle memory, a spiritual... Emotional. Oh, bus, 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 bus. Look, two buses. Good morning, bus. Good morning, bus. May you get to your destination safely, punctually, without incident. We'll see you on the way back, won't we, bus? Nah. If I was riding the bus, I wouldn't have this opportunity to make a gratitude list. You know, so you gotta, there's an other side to like what you think is a, what could be pissing you off could actually be, I don't know, if you have adapted to it, could be a blessing in a weird way. Like, like I get hung up a lot of the time. I've been single literally for 14, going on 15 years. That's the last time a woman's told me they loved me or that I felt loved. I had a, I had a, I was dating someone back in 2015. That was eight fucking years ago. We only went out for a month and it was terrible. Kind of alcoholic, kind of toxic. But let me tell you, it's been eight years since I've been kissed. Since I've been held. 
since I felt closeness, human companionship like that. The last time I felt lips on mine was on December the 12th, 2019, when I unsuccessfully tried to give my best work friend CPR when he was dying of a heart, when he died of a heart attack on the floor of our kitchen. You know, that's the last time another per, another human's lips touched mine. Gosh, I, 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 you know, I felt his tongue on mine. Ugh. <laughs> you think that, like, you know, in the, in the interim, like, I could, like, I could have washed that taste out of my mouth with the kiss of a, of, of, of a, of a, of a beautiful woman who, who genuinely likes me. I mean, it's just, has the world moved on? Probably. Have I? No, I don't, who cares? I mean, we all, we come, we go. And in the middle, we have life. Ah. But it is a nice morning. It's not too cold. It's not wet. It's not windy. It's not raining. We got bird song. And hark, a bunny. I see a bunny. And I'm going to go say good morning to that bunny. You have a great morning. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. God bless. Namaste. But, oh, oh, yeah. But you know what I don't have? I don't have an ex-wife. I don't have alimony payments. I don't have child support payments. I don't have kids that are stressing me out with this modern life. I don't have um, a, a, a woman in my life that could be making me miserable and suffer with their expectations and demands. I'm a free man. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> well, I am. But freedom comes at a price, huh? Huh? I don't know. Food for thought. Thank you so very much. God bless. Namaste. Good luck. God bless. We will see you again later with more gratitude. Please like and subscribe. I would love to earn your subscription. We make daily content here. 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Daily. We talk about comic books for a few minutes. We've got a great crowd that shows up. We talk about comic books. We talk about spirituality, gratitude, purpose, cooking, and bunnies. Yeah, that bunny's still there. He's waiting for us. All right. Thank you. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye.